Hey gorgeous. Today's the day we get married, which is something very exciting. Um, and two months ago we chose to separate from a religious and spiritual standpoint um, to kind of maintain some distance to um, build up, I guess, some longing and, you know, desire uh, that that whole process has, it has been tough. I think it's been tough for, for both of us. We haven't been able to lean on each other the way that we normally uh, lean on each other. Um, it's been harder to communicate being being separated you know there's been challenges along the way but i don't think i would change anything like the process in this journey over the last two months uh has opened my eyes to a lot i would suggest i have a deeper appreciation for perspective i use the example um now amongst my friends which is quite i don't know if it's cute or not but it yeah, I guess before when I was home and I was working on something and I was focused on something, I uh, I didn't want to be distracted. And even to this point, I still don't want to be distracted. But you would come home from work a bit later than myself because that's what your role entitled and you would almost demand my attention. Um, and looking back, it's lovely. In the moments, I could see that it was like, why are you distracting me from completing whatever it is, the task, the objective that I'm, I'm trying to do. And that's a bit of the male brain in me, um, you know, single focused on, on a specific task. But, you know, having some, had time to reflect, I completely appreciate that this is a wonderful sign of love that you just want to spend as much time as you possibly can um, together doing whatever it is that we can do together to just enjoy each other's company and that perspective process has really um, opened my mind's eye to a whole series of other things that I feel like I've taken advantage of um, in the relationship so I guess I'm saying sorry I haven't meant to do that um, I know it hasn't necessarily been like a roadblock but these last two months have really opened my eyes to, to I guess, fully understand and appreciate that there are small things that each of us do in the relationship that are probably being taken advantage of and not as appreciated as much as as they could be. So I am telling you, I'm, I'm, I've seen it, I've understood it. You know, when I, when I complete a YouTube video and I put it up there um, for other people to get some benefit. I realize that my favorite thing is to turn to you and and uh, have you kind of just uh, pat my ego a little bit, you know, just congratulate me for putting in the hard work and efforts. Um, and I've missed not having you around to, to do that for me. Um, you know, it's something small, which I've taken advantage of. Um, and I, know I certainly won't be doing that moving forward. Um, I love you to pieces more than you know. Um, more than you know, I, I think you're such a wonderful, creative, um, artistic person who expresses all of their emotions on their sleeve. Um, you know, when you're angry, you know, when you're sad, uh, you can't hide it. Uh, you do not have a wall for emotions whatsoever. And that is one of the wonderful things that I, I love about you. Um, I guess I would summarize that by saying my physical feature of you is your ability to smile with your eyes. Um, even through the COVID times where we were forced to wear masks, you could tell when you were happy or sad, um, frustrated or upset or any of the other spectrum of emotions that are out there. Um, I just love that about you so much. Um, and I love that you want to spend that time with me. I love that you challenge me i uh i like getting out of my comfort zone but it's hard to get out of your comfort zone and because we're such different people you push me outside my comfort zone and that's something that i really love and appreciate about you is that you, you take that time and effort to get me out of the house to get me to do things um to to be more active to be more healthy to you know, really look after myself so that we can have a, a long lasting life together. You know, I, I look at 
what it is for the future, um, having, I guess, watched and reflected on a number of, of documentaries. And, and one of the things that's come to mind is acceptance. You know, we're not going to be young forever. We will get old. And I can tell you now that I am happy knowing that I'm going to get old next to you. It brings joy to my life um, knowing that we can help affect not only each other's growth, but other people around us, uh, the growth of those people that we love uh, dear to it, to our own hearts. So, um, and I can't see anybody else that I would want to do that with. You are special, spectacular. Um, you make me want to be a better person and you accept me for who I am, which is, I guess everybody struggles with that to some degree, but not only do you like you accept who I am as a person, you love who I am as a person, uh, flaws and all. Um, I guess our favorite uh, relationship advice is, um, and, you know, we quote it around the house all the time, you know, you, you love somebody because of who they are, but just as equally you love someone despite who they are. Um, but the the differences that people have within themselves is what gives us the opportunity to love somebody. Because if you were to marry somebody who is exactly the same as you, that would be self-interested. You're only loving yourself. Um, and I don't see any value in that. You don't really grow as a, as a couple or as a, as a relationship, as, as partners, if you're only self-interested. So I, uh, I'm going to do my best to give you 100%. I know that um, marriage is not easy. Even though I've not never been married before, uh, you see it all around you. Parents, friends, anyone you talk to says that marriage is a journey. Um, I like to analogize it like there's two people and they're kind of coming together and as, as time goes by, you in, end up kind of, you know, I guess creating uh, almost like an, an arrowhead or a point of a triangle as you get closer and closer to kind of the, the way that you want to, to work things and, and have things organized in, in, in your relationships. But look, I wouldn't go through this relationship or the, the idea, I wouldn't go through the idea of marriage with, with anybody else. Um, well, yeah, just, I guess I'm looking forward to facing those challenges together. Uh, we communicate very openly and I hope that never changes. Um, I think that's one of the, the biggest strengths that the two of us have is the fact that we're not afraid to speak openly with each other. We don't necessarily do it instantaneously. Sometimes we need a little bit of space and I completely respect and understand understand that. Um, that kind of goes both ways. But regardless, we both take the time to sit down, think, reflect. And I love that process. I love the fact that we can have a disagreement, an argument or a discussion of some kind and both of us in our own ways will sit down and reflect on the conversations that have happened and the outcomes and what it is that we truly want. Um, and then we make changes. I think the key part is, is that we continue to try our best. You know, I've always said a successful relationship is where the good outweighs the bad and the two people are willing to work on the relationship. And that is, that is the key three elements in my mind. You know, if you were to summarize all of the nuances in relationship, if you got those three elements right, then I think you're good to go. Um, I am looking forward to what life brings for us. As you know, I'm a bit of a planner and I can get caught in the future thinking about all sorts of things. Um, you know, I reflect back on our holiday to the Kangaroo Island, um, South Adelaide, that was fantastic. But even while we're on a beach, you know, enjoying dolphins swimming around, I'm sitting there talking and planning about our non-existent future children's retirement at the age of 65. Um, I mean, and how to bring up children to better appreciate the value of the dollar and yeah, really just kind of apply themselves to life. And I, I love that you let me go there and then kind of go, well, you know what? Uh, don't forget that we're on holiday. It's time to come back and live in the moment with me a little bit. Um, and I 
just brings a smile to my face. You know, the, the best moments of the relationship to date is when, at least for me, when you have defended my honor with whomever. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, I know I can be a little bit difficult for people to understand or appreciate because I have different perspectives on the world. I would not want the same perspective as anybody else. Um, there are a lot of people out there who kind of conform to what society wants wants you to do and wants you to think, and I'm not interested in doing that. Uh, and certainly the non-conformance and the different attitude towards things has given us opportunities to do life a little bit differently, put us in a, a different perspective or a different position. Um, and I just love and appreciate that. So I'm, I love you to pieces. I could talk about how wonderful you are for hours and hours, um, but I won't. Um, what I will say is that I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I can't wait to start a family with you. And I can't wait to go through the troubles and the pains that we're going to have together because at least I get to go through it with you by my side. Um, yeah, I'm always going to be there for you. My love has not wavered one iota over any of the period of time that we've, we've been together with all the challenges that we've faced to get to this point. Um, and I wouldn't do anything any other way. Um, I'm so happy that you're in my life. I love you, gorgeous. And today's the day that we get married. So, what a wonderful start to the year. Let's kick some ass and take some names along the way. I love you, gorgeous. Bye-bye.